What's going on, everybody? C4 here, and welcome to the newest episode of the Toronto Huskies. Could very well be episode 20. I don't know. We are here as we get ready for our week two matchup against the Baltimore Ravens coming off of maybe the biggest upset we have had to date in our season opener, upsetting probably Super Bowl favorites, LA Rams 17 to 9. Our defense played massive, had a good debut performance from our quarterback Tua Tagovailoa as we get ready for today's episode at our first home game, our season opener against our home opener anyways against the 1-0 undefeated through one game which is uber impressive Baltimore Ravens so two things we need to note one is that they just released the newest roster update and Jordan Mailata on the Philadelphia Eagles now has a quick dev trait so uh I'm I, there's no way in hell I'm not giving him a quick dev trait because the memes and secondly, because we did win that game with kind of ease against the Rams, I am going to be moving the settings up to all oh, Madden, uh, at least for this week. I mean, I feel like I want the added challenge. I just, I'm just sick and tired of these patches just destroying all of my sliders and making them useless. I mean, against the Rams, it was 17 to nine. It wasn't. It wasn't like we all looked this this really average 76 overall team shit pumped the Rams. It was just. I felt like the AI, the AI for the Rams, especially Jared Goff, wasn't up to par. So we're going to switch it on all Madden, see how that feels here against the Baltimore Ravens. So as we do a quick little scouting report on the Baltimore Ravens, what do they got here? So they got Lamar Jackson at quarterback. He's pro he's really good now. He's, he's good nowadays. And I feel like where he doesn't run in the same, he probably will run when we play against him. It's been a while since he's gone up against Lamar. He doesn't want to stay in the pocket. He threw it 32 times in their uh, clearly opening day victory. I mean, all right, more power to him. Run the ball. They got Orleans, Dark One, Fat Rob. Not worried. And look, Lamar Jackson didn't even have one rushing attempt. Realistic. Uh, from the receiving standpoint, Hayden Hurst is a nice option at tight end. 106 yards week one. They got Willie Sneed. Tyler Boyd, he's really good right now, especially in real life for the Cincinnati Bengals. They got good tight ends here, but there's no one really that, that screams danger. Even though Seth Roberts had 71 yards and a touchdown. On the offensive line standpoint, uh, what do they got for starters here? Four starters, Bodine. Ooh, a little bit of a revenge game. Our former starting center, they got Orlando Brown, who had one of the worst combines of all time. I mean, there's no one on that offensive line outside of Ronnie Stanley that I think could cause us some issues. C.J. Mosley's one hell of a linebacker. You got Marlon Humphrey, Devin White. Devin White and C.J. Mosley at middle linebacker. P.L. Mullins got his work cut out for him. Uh, yeah, they're, they're really good against stopping the run. They're, that's you know, obviously their bread and butter. They didn't get a sack. They didn't get an interception. Let's keep it that way. As uh, we look to uh, bring the pain here in week number two. And like I said, guys, I do plan on moving to a two-game per episode sooner than later. But I'm still working on the 2021 draft class. And obviously, if I do two games per episode, it's going to make it you know not as good, not as enjoyable of experience. Because I really want to have this draft class finished around week four, week five. Versus if I'm doing two episodes or two games an episode, it's going to be more like week ten by the time I get that done. That being said, it is time to take our 1-0 record and open up the den and welcome these purple birds that we're not worried about. It's two of time. Let's go. God damn it. The Ravens. Ravens suck. That's, that's, oh, fuck the Ravens. Oh, come on. Throw it away. All Madden. Forgot we're playing on All Madden. Let's see what we got here. That's. Blitz the A gap. You know, screw that. Spitz. Yeah, nah, let's go. Let's go blitz the A gap. Boom. Nice sack. Dion Jordan. I don't know if he's on the juice again. Don't ask him. That's kind of why we lost. Don't don't bring up the juice because that's how I feel. We we lost Trent Murphy, number three in sacks last season, uh, to the Canada Bill because there was some some juice. The juice was loose. Oh my God, man! Best red zone defense in the league. No doubt about it. Kind of like the Philadelphia Eagles right now. Cover two man, third and goal on the five yard line. This would be a huge stand off of the two attack of low fumble. Or oh, we got T we got TJ Green. We got some safeties in here. Okay. Let's come on. Come on. They got nothing. Oh, let's go. Greedy Williams, baby. That's why you're a franchise corner. They had that. Willie Sneed had that. Greedy came in. Greedy for the ball. Pun intended. Look at that. What a pass breakup by Greedy Williams. Beautiful play.
Oh, Jakeem Grant. Oh, the wheels. The wheels on the kid on third and ten to put us in at least field goal range. What a play, man. Jakeem Grant, what a weapon. Oh, 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 my God. If Dallas Goddard came down with that, that would have been the best touchdown reception at all of Madden. It would have broke Madden. Worse than my Saquon Barkley challenge video. Like the effort, though. All right, third and four. We're going to go with a play that was seemingly unstoppable against the Rams. That is a C4 special toss to P.L. Mullins. Oh, my God. Let's go, P.L. <laughs> oh, his third touchdown of the year. It's a beautiful thing. What's his touchdown dance? Oh, my God. Look at that. He has to move that because his, his dong's so big. He needs to Look, he's swinging his dong at him. Everyone's hopping on the P.L. Mullins train. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Going to the red light district. Oh, come on, man. All Madden, we're just every running back is greased up naked deaf guy. Oh, big third in inches. You know, anytime we're involved in inches, P.L. Mullins is coming in. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. What a machine. Oh, great pass. Oh, J. Jones broke his ankles. Oh, my God. I love I love this wild house. That, that's, that's the problem right now. We got the two most overpowered, underrated wilds. If we somehow had to ever resort to put it in Tom Savage, we'd have the all Madden cheese team right now. What a play. We're on the three. Now, I am debating maybe giving... Tua's first touchdown, but until this is just stopped, this is the go-to. It's almost automatic. C4 special in the red zone. We're going to PL Mullins again. Oh, he trips! My lot of you giant, whatever you, what are you, a, a kangaroo from the land down under? Go one more time. Go to the other side. Usually my lot is pretty clutch there. Oh, it's Corey Clement. I feel like we might be able to get here with Clement. Oh, we do. Wide open. We're just an all-out rushing attack. We're a relentless rushing attack as Corey Clement doing the P.L. Mullen celebratory uh, hip thrust. Beautiful, man. All Madden, all pro, don't matter. You ain't stopping this rushing attack. Oh! Let's go, Anthony Nelson. Did that look glitchy? A little. But he might be my favorite player on the defense right now. We reached for him. We grabbed him around ahead, and he is, oof, look at this, man. Lamar Jackson thought he had him. He thought he had everyone beat on that play action. And look at that. Just fights through the animation, defies the laws of gravity. Oh, yeah, baby. What? Get out of here, frog bullshit. Oh, look, another injury. Beautiful. We don't need any defensive linemen. Oh, beautiful. Jordan Poyer. He is getting some bedside loving tonight. All right, let's bring up Vinatieri, the young kid. 54 yards, 6 miles an hour against him. Good God. Oh, that might be good. Boom, beautiful. 7-point lead entering the half. Able to get some points off of that costly Lamar Jackson red zone turnover. Let's go. We can get. We can go two and zero, man. All Madden, all pro, don't matter. No stopping the Huskies here in year two. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here, boy. Lamar Jackson injury, boy. Leon Jacobs, the hitman, the assassin. Bye bye. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, here we are on defense. So yeah, Lamar Jackson's out, and Joe Flacco is cooking. I think he has three completions for like seventy-five yards. We weren't prepared for this. Imagine like having all your game plan set up to Lamar Jackson, and then you're watching Joe Flacco out here scramble like a, I don't know what, a jackrabbit, and throw it like he's getting paid what he was getting paid before, you know? Million dollar, he's playing like that million dollar QB right now. So we need our bend, don't break defense to step up big here. Not let any of this shenanigans, oh my God, man. We're not going to lose to Joe Flacco. There's no way we could just show our faces in Toronto. We're at home. Season home opener. And lose to Joe Flacco and lose to a guy with a Troy Polamalu haircut? Don't think so. What? Jump, you piece of shit. You've got to be kidding me. What was that? 
Oh, the old, old Madden, my guys play worse on all Madden than they do on all pro, because heaven forbid, they just make it so the computer's harder, not my team sucks. That's a 92 overall corner, Trey White. I didn't even switch to him. Unbelievable. Fucking ridiculous, man. Oh, on all Madden, Joe Flacco plays like Aaron Rodgers. I hate this game so much. <laughs> instant pick. Instant pick. I, I want to see how instant that interception was. Wasn't even going to Phillips. I thought maybe the linebacker could make a play, not the corner out of nowhere. Let me get, I'm gonna get, I want to get a replay of this. Get a replay of that interception. I, I want to I see how bad of a throw that was. How much that was on me, you know? Let's see. Right? Look, look, look. Literally, you want, can you see my mouse? I don't know why my mouse. You want to go here. The ball's going to go between these two right here. You're lofted in there. Let's see. And wow, that's, wow, that aggressiveness. 25 on their team has got to be a monster. I'm going to say number 25 on the Ravens got to be 90 plus to make a break on the ball like that. Um, Oh, 74. Oh, he's a, seven, he's a 74, and he makes a play like that. Oh, okay. S 74 overall plays like a 95. Okay, Ed Reed. Second coming of Ed Reed's a 74 overall. Good to know. Good to know. All right, if you want the epitome of all Madden, it's taking Lamar Jackson out of the game and then having Joe Flacco come in and go for, uh, what do we got? 10 of 13 for 250 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. But then when my young stud rookie quarterback throws the ball, it gets nine deflections and then falls incomplete. Uh, I mean, it's up to you guys. If you want me to play all Madden next week, this weekend's episode on Sunday, it's up to you. Uh, not very fun, though. Didn't have a lot of fun. Usually enjoy playing the Huskies. But, uh, you know, if you guys want to see a challenge, you guys want to see me not win a lot, this is what we'll rock and roll with. The only highlight on the offensive side is P.L. Mullins got another touchdown. Our running attack was non-existent because we fell uh, we fell behind so much we pretty much had to abandon it uh tyler boyd nuked us six catches 176 yards two touchdowns dallas got it reception machine zay jones had a decent day on the defensive side we got 10 tackles from mike hilton two sacks leon jacobs the tackle for loss he also was the uh the big hit that took out lamar jackson nelson and Dion jordan also got sacks we got an interception from jordan poyer but uh, it wasn't good enough, man. It wasn't good enough at all. I don't know what we could have done to win. And it's one of those things. In reality, our team should be getting, I'm not going to say stomped, but we do have one of the worst rosters, probably the lowest overall in the league. So results like this should happen more often than not. But it's it's the gameplay that makes it the very frustrating point where that, that just wasn't fun. We were getting cheesed. My good players, like that Trey White touchdown, 90. He's one of the best corners. He's like a top five corner in this game. And he, he just didn't jump. He just, <laughs> oops. Guess I'm just gonna not move now and get beat for a hundred some yards by Tyler Boyd. It was it was just the nonsense that made it really really frustrating. Um, I don't know, man. It's uh, it is what it is. We're gonna wrap the episode here because I'm really frustrated right now and I, I don't want to ever be really frustrated about my beautiful creation that is the Toronto Huskies. So we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Looking for feedback in the comment section below. As always, if it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping. You talking that shit when you talking and talking. Look at my options, look at me dropping. Asking the game, like, who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never. Not me, not me, not never. Not me, not me, not never. I'm way too clever. Look at the kid, Mr. Consistent, I'm doing it big Way too persistent on taking your bitch Here comes a monster to scare you, kid